Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another plan with me. I'm so excited to plan with you guys today because I'm going to be doing something a little bit out of my comfort zone and a little bit different than the norm, which we will talk about here in just a second, but I wanted to kind of show you guys how last week turned out. So I'm currently filming this on Sunday the 26th and this is what my week ended up looking like. I really liked this kit but I also felt like it was hard for me to get excited about looking at just because it was the same kit I used in my month spread and I've kind of noticed that pattern like when I use kits that I use in my month spread I'm just not as excited because I feel like I've seen the design over and over and I just kind of get tired of it but Nonetheless, this one was still one of my favorite kits. For those of you who have been watching me, you know that January's Planner Kate kits were not my favorite as far as just the designs and the reformatting goes, um, but I made them work for me and I think that this one turned out really cute. It's definitely my favorite. So yeah, it was a pretty, pretty busy week. Um, I actually got to see three friends this week, which is crazy. I feel like that never happens. Um, Monday, I went and got lunch with a friend from high school who just graduated college and he's kind of starting on his career path, so we're in a similar place. And then um, on Thursday night, I got dinner with another friend of mine from high school. Um, and it was a much needed dinner. We, She's one of my very close friends that I just haven't seen a lot lately and we had some good talks and I was able to get a lot off of my chest with her and she's just one of those people that you can just be yourself around and that felt really good. And then on Sunday, I, or on Saturday, I had lunch with another friend. She's actually a college friend of mine. So I've known her for the past four years and we met at the community college that I started off at and we sang together in school. And so it was really, really good to see her as well. So yeah, I think that was like the best part of this week was just getting to like make time to catch up with friends, which was not, is not something that I normally do. So that was awesome. Um, and this weekend, I just like, it's been a very productive weekend. I've been getting things done. I've been house sitting. So in the evenings, I drive 45 minutes um, to go stay um, at a good friend of mine's house while she's out of town. And I went and saw a scary movie last night. I saw like the remake of The Grudge. I don't, well, not really a remake. It was like just a newer version of The Grudge. Um, it wasn't my favorite. It was pretty good. I love horror films. So if if you know me, you know that those are my favorite. Um, and it was the first like scary movie that I had seen in like a while. So that was okay, but it was really fun to go to the movies. And then I went up, I got up and went to church this morning. I got my car washed. I'm filming this plan with me. Then I'm going to shower, pack a bag, drive back to the house, and then start lesson planning and getting ready for my week, which is just crazy. I feel like it was only a four day week and then this weekend flew by. Seriously flew by. I, oh, it makes me sad. I feel like the weekends go by way too fast, but that's okay. It's going to be a good week and I'm excited to start it. So I know we're technically getting into February and I have not planned for February, obviously. That's because I don't have any February kits yet. I literally just ordered my kits two days ago. So that means I'm also out of January kits. So this weeks like this are weird because you're like, do I use a January or do I use a February? Usually I just go by like which one there's more days of in the week. Um, but I just didn't plan that far ahead. And I guess I only got four January kits instead of five. So I have absolutely no kits to use this week from Planner Kate, which is why I'm going to do something out of the norm for me. And I'm actually really excited about it because it was a goal of mine this year to try and use a different kit that's not Planner Kate at least once a month. So I think that this just kind of worked out perfectly that I'm kind of being forced to use something different. So out of all of the stuff I had laying around, I don't really shop a lot of other um, sticker shops like on Etsy or anything. So I'm going to be using Erin Condren and I'm really excited about it. I have had this kit for a while. I, when I ordered my life planner 
this was the cover that I ordered and I just was in love with this print. I also have the Sherpa throw blanket in this exact same um, pattern. I just think it's so pretty and I feel like I can make it work. It's kind of a good like in between of January and February. So I don't know, it felt like a good time to use it. So I'm really excited because I have never done a full week in only Erin Condren. So it'll be interesting. We'll see how it turns out. But I have that. And then I did pull out like some of my Erin Condren stickers. So these are like the event labels that I think will go with the kit pretty well. I'm not 100% sure. We're just going to kind of have to see what colors. I do have that one and then I have this one as well. So I think between those I should be able to pull out any colors I need. Also, I feel like this is not focusing. There. Okay. So I have those and then I just have like all of these other um, life planner sticker sheets that like came in the life planners. So I actually ordered the rainbow colorful one um, on the website and then these are the neutral ones that came with my planner since I do have the neutral planner. So I figured between all of these I could make a week work. My goal is to try and only use Erin Condren stickers except for like Planner Kate script stickers. I think I'm still going to take advantage of those because I feel like I can't live without them. I also have the sticker pad just because like there's some like quote stickers and stuff here that I thought I might be able to pull just to fill up some space and then there's some in this one as well and just more stickers that I know I could put to use. So and then oh this one I think came in the seasonal surprise box um, but it has like a happy Valentine's Day sticker in there, which I know it's not Valentine's Day yet, but it just had some other colors that were very similar to this kit. See, I feel like those match really well. So I kind of wanted to pull those out too and see if there's anything I could use. So this is going to be really interesting since it's not my normal week. This might take a little longer than usual. And I know I'm not a very quick planner either. So I apologize if this ends up taking forever, but we're just going to go for it and we're going to see, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous how this works. So I think I'm going to use these down at the bottom because I'm really not using this bottom space for anything. So my gut tells me to just cover it up with the thick washi that comes in the kit. Although it's driving me crazy, these rounded corners, because then I feel like you just can't get it matched up that well, but. Ooh, no, I need to scoot that out just a little bit more. Oh, see, I don't know like how this stuff is formatted. I'm just so not used to using it. I think I'd rather have it go in a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. Ooh, this is so pretty. Seriously, this is like one of my favorite Erin Condren patterns and actually I feel like every time she releases new patterns I just I'm like oh my gosh there's so many that I like um but this one is just super gorgeous I was so excited when they released the new planner and this was one of the cover options I was like yep that's the one I'm choosing <laughs> so hopefully this tears okay I'm a little nervous about it let's see I'm going to turn it upside down because I feel better tearing this way. It's probably what I should have done. Okay, that tore pretty easily. I guess I could have just made it cover all the way. Oh man, now I kind of wish I would have done that. To just cover up that box. Because I don't really use it. Maybe I should just... But now I tore it. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it though. I think I'm going to like leave this on here. I should not have torn that. I like instantly regretted it once I did it, but I feel like I don't use that bottom box anyway, so it just kind of makes sense. So we're just going to go with it for now. Okay, so that's what the bottom looks like. Now, if this was a different month, I would probably just keep that hexagon like, like if this was March because of the purple, but 
don't feel like I love it, so I might cover it up. Oh, and it looks like these will probably cover it up just fine. So I'm going to take this box. Ooh, yes. That should cover it up well. So, just like try and get this centered. Yes, that is super pretty. Okay, so, oh man, how do I want to set up my sidebar? I think I want to use... this up here on the top so I do have some like extra date headers but I think I'm not gonna use them I think I'm just gonna put this up here and like cover up these rounded corners because again I just hate the rounded corners let me put this one on too because I kind of want to put both of them down before I cut them I can, I can definitely tell though that like using these Erin Condren stickers, they're not near as sticky as um, Planner Kate stickers are. And I feel like once I put them down, I really need to try and leave them down because I don't think that they will stay very well. Yeah, see, like I don't have that lined up super well. Yeah, like there's not much. I think Erin Condren could definitely work on that. It's like making sure that they like, I don't know, their sticker quality just isn't up to par. And I've watched a lot of people use her stickers and always say that. And I used to use her stickers like in my um, notes pages a lot, but I just don't really use my notes pages much anymore. So it's not something that I've been, like, I don't know, used to lately. But I think that looks pretty good. I'm still trying to decide if I want to, like, leave that full. I'm sad that I tore it because I just didn't even think about it. But I think that I want to keep it. I don't know. I think I like this so far, though. This is turning out really cute. Okay, so for my sidebar, I think I want to, let's look at what stickers I have. <laughs> I have so many stickers. So I have some to-do stickers, so I think I might just put, oh, this, this week one. I think I'm definitely going to use that. Now, I might want to like layer it with something. But I don't know. Maybe with the green. I think maybe with this green one. Or, oh. Maybe this, like, a lighter green. Yeah, I think that one matches a little bit better. And it's still rose gold, which I love. I'm so happy that these are rose gold. So, if I put this down. Guys, this is really fun. I feel like I'm so not used to it, but it makes, like, planning really exciting because it's just different than normal. Okay, so we'll put that there, and then we'll just kind of layer it. Ooh, that is so cute, but I do feel like I need to pull. Oh my gosh, please still stick. I feel like I just need to scoot it over a tad. There we go. Oh, I don't know. Guys, this is, I need it to, oh my gosh, I can feel it ripping the paper. I should just stop moving the stickers. Hopefully they'll stay down. 
That is seriously perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this so far, but that foil is super pretty. Okay, so I have this week down. This makes me want to start using Erin Condren more often. I'm like seriously so excited about this. Okay, so that's my sidebar. Then I think that we are good to just like get into the week. Now, I don't think I have a weekend sticker. I don't think any of these stickers say weekend. I know that she has some sticker. I really want to purchase some more Erin Condren stickers. Um, because I know that she has some that like say weekend and stuff on them. So I kind of just want to flip through though and see if any of these say weekend because I don't know. I feel like you can't go without a weekend sticker, right? I really like these um, like school sticker books, the teacher ones. Okay, yeah, there's not one in there. So the question is, should I use a Planner Kate weekend sticker? Because I definitely have some, but I know I'm kind of trying to not, not use Planner Kate and just stick to Erin Condren, but the weekend stickers are just so cute. And I just feel like I want to add that layer. Since there's like navy blue, I could definitely pull some of that navy blue in and that might be really cute. Or I could just use the light pink or the green. There's a lot that works in this kit. Let's see what the navy blue would look like. No, not really feeling that one. Let's see about this like a light green one. I think that's really cute. Should I try and layer it with some washi or something? Or should I just... I think I'll just put it at the top here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, you guys, this is making me so excited. Okay, so I think we should just go ahead and jump into the week and start planning everything. So let's just take it day by day. Um, on Monday, okay, let me find my notepad here. Monday, I don't have anything too crazy going on. So this is my other thing is I'm wondering, like, sh I'm wondering if I want to, like, um, label the time that I'm at work because like I always do that with the full boxes um, like that but I'm I don't know if I want to worry about that since I don't have them I think for now I'll just put down my plans and then if I feel like I want to take up more room then I might add them so bachelor is on Monday at seven o'clock. So I definitely want to make sure I put that in there. Um, let's look at all the stickers I have. There's just so many. I'll put bachelor on one of these. I'm thinking i to see like what goes with this kit. That's probably not gonna stick, so I'm just gonna take that off. Probably like one of these. The purple I think goes. There's also like this purple. It's so hard to tell, honestly. But I think I'm gonna put it on Maybe one of the, like the blue. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it on the blue. 
So 7 o'clock is Bachelor, and again, I'm going to do like I normally do, and just um, oh, I love the size of these because they cover up two hour slots. That's perfect. Um, I'm going to write on these at the very end, just in case I want to move anything around. Okay, so then on Tuesday, I have, okay, so my, um, student teaching coordinator when I was going to school um, once she called or emailed um, those of us that just graduated and asked us to come do like a Q&A with our current student teachers on Tuesday after school so that will be at 445 till 530 I believe so I definitely want to put that in here um, let's use, hmm. this is hard because I'm like, ah, oh, there's so many cute things, but I don't know what I want to use. Okay, I think I'm just going to use another... Maybe I'll use like the kind of orangish one. So I said that was 4:45 to 5:30, which is perfect. I can put it on these two slots. And then um, after that is the band concert for the kids at my school. It's a band and orchestra concert, and I don't know if I'm gonna go or not, but I wanted to put it in. So, I think what I'll do is use maybe one of these flags. Because they're kind of cute. So maybe like... Maybe not. I don't know. hard. So hard making decisions. That's the only thing like without Winter Kate's kit I feel like I have to make harder decisions on like what I want to use. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll just put it on this, like put this little flag on there. And then maybe I'll use like a, hmm, I don't know. We'll think on that one. I could use Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I want to mark that yet. I'm just going to keep the flag there for now, but I'm not really sure if I like it. Okay, so then we have um, the Junior Wildcat Singers, which is the little 5th and 6th grade choir that I'm also um, a part of, like, directing on Wednesday nights. That's 445 to 515. So I think I just want to put that on another one of these. And maybe we'll do that on green. 445 to 515. So again, just kind of fits perfectly to put them in between the two time slots. Then, um, there's also a Kansas Day Assembly on the 29th at my school. So I kind of just wanted to mark that in there. I think it's around two. So maybe I'll use one of these and like layer it. Actually, I think I'm gonna just like put it at the top because it's like a 
I don't know, as just like something to remind me of the day. Maybe. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to put it down here? Hmm. So I also want to mark trash day up there. Uh-oh. I think I'm going to put it at the top. It just seems to make sense in my brain right now. And then I'll layer a sticker on it of some sort. Hmm. Sorry, you guys. I feel like I'm just really having to think about how I want to do this. I feel like it covers it up a lot, but, well, or what I could do is put the thinner one. Okay, so we're going to put this back on there. I'll take one of these thinner ones and put it on that way. I think that would be cute. What color, though? Do I want to do, let's do a lighter one. That's kind of cute. You kind of layer it there. Okay, so that's the assembly that I'm marking. Friday is Bitty Beats like normal. So I think I'll put that on another blue one at 5. So I'm just going to 530. So I'm just going to put it actually on the time slot this time. Because it shouldn't take up. It's just a 30 minute class. So that should be fine there. And then um, yeah, I think that that is literally everything. So I don't know. I feel like I kind of want, I thought makeup on my Later. I hate it when that happens. I feel like I kind of want to like mark when I'm at work to just like fill up that time. But at the same time, I also kind of like it, the simplicity of it. So I don't know. I know that I also have like quote stickers, like I said, that I could always use, but I don't really want to like just use them to use them, you know? So, I think that I'm just going to leave it like that simple. And then, like, by the end of the week, I can kind of show you guys how everything turned out. But I think that I like this. I could have also used this sticker for the pep assembly. That would have been or for the school assembly. But I think that I kind of like the way I layered that. Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just write in what I have. I don't really ever write on Erin Connor stickers, but I think my Sharpie pen will do a good job. Um, not the thicker one, though. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and write on these, and then... Oh, that's the thing that I feel like I don't love, is that one. I need to figure out something different for that. Hmm... So I have this, but I feel like I don't want to use that on there because I feel like I'd rather save it like if I do something on the weekend or something like that. Maybe I will just change it from a flag. To 
to um, hmm. okay so I just went ahead and changed that sticker out because I just wasn't a big fan of the flag but now I feel like it's just a lot of flags down or a lot of the event labels so I don't know you guys I feel like super indecisive about some of this stuff but I'm kind of flipping through my stickers before I decide to write to decide if this is in fact like what I want to do But I ended up not using any planner key stickers. I'm honestly okay with that. I feel like it just really does keep things simple. Um, I guess one thing is that I do want to have this plan with me up by Wednesday. That's usually my goal. So let, maybe I can just mark that in here as well. I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that and have that be upload my plan with me is what I'll write on there. And then I think I'm going to put the assembly down low, down here. And I'll put it on a flag or something. I think I like that idea better. So then we can put it at the time that it's actually supposed to happen. And or maybe I'll put it sideways. Yeah, I kind of like it sideways. I don't know you guys I keep going back and forth I don't know why I'm like so indecisive right now I'm just not loving it maybe I could have done that down here oh my goodness okay let me just write these in because I like where everything's at right now and then I'll figure out the rest Okay, I think that that is everything for the week. I know that this video is probably way too long, um, but I think that this was really, really fun. I absolutely love the way that this looks. It's very simple and everything turned out to like match super well, which I love. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just really excited to see what it's like working with it the rest of the week and how it's going to turn out. I think it's really cute. Um, I didn't right ahead my to-do list for the week and I need to make sure I do that um after this because my to-do list turned out to work really well for me this week and I was able to transfer some of that to my daily petite planner and so um I really want to like look ahead and make sure that I have a to-do list for the week because then I feel like I will actually accomplish those things if I get them written in now but I don't want to keep you guys any longer because this Again, it's probably going to be super long, but thank you all so much for watching. I think that this was a lot of fun. Um, I think it's exciting to try new things, and it makes me feel really motivated to keep trying new things in my planner, and hopefully you guys will see. I actually already do have another new thing coming up. I'm really excited for what I have to come in. I ordered it online, and... Um, I'm just really excited to show you guys kind of some different things that I'm doing in my planner, but it's nothing too big. I probably just like way talked that up, um, but it's not planner Kate. I'm, I'm basically trying a new 
sticker shop out and I'm really excited about that so <laughs> I was gonna be trying to be vague but then I was like I'm probably not making any sense right now so anyways thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I can't wait to see you all in my next video bye guys okay so I totally like just kept playing around with it once I shut off my camera and then this is what I decided to add um so I used some of this thin washi from this is from an Erin Condren surprise box and it's supposed to be washi that they sell on the website that I don't think they ever actually ended up releasing um but anyways I used some of it to go ahead and mark the time that I'm at school I can't decide if I like it or not um but I decided to turn my camera back on and show you what I ended up doing just because this is probably going to be the picture in the thumbnail and you're going to be like, what the heck? That looks different. So yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to add something in the middle. Otherwise, all of that space is going to be blank. And I don't know. I felt like it just needed a little something. So this pink doesn't match it perfectly. I wish it didn't clash with that pink up at the top, but I think it looks really cute. So Anyways, I'm just going to write work on it, and that's pretty much going to be it. So, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video.